Hello guys, welcome to another guide on how to romance every playable character in Final Fantasy VII Rebirth. The main goal of the Final Fantasy VII Rebirth Romance and Relationship feature is to create a sense of togetherness amongst Cloud and the other characters. This culminates in a sequence in the Gold Saucer during Chapter 12, where you can go on a date with one of your companions, and if your relationship is high enough, you can go on a romantic date with them. I'll be going through how to get 100% positive relationship with every player in one playthrough, and there are plenty of missable options for increasing your relationship status. I'm skipping two parts to this, however, and they are one, side quests. You should be doing these anyway. They will show you on the side quest whose relationship you're increasing, but just make sure you do the side quests as they show up. The second is to use synergy skills and abilities. Just make sure that you keep unlocking new skills, and any that involve Cloud and another character, make sure to use them at least once in combat, and you will increase your relationship with that player. So you can just do that as you unlock the new skills. The hard parts though are some missable relationship dialogues and unique events that you will come across in various chapters, and we're starting with chapter two. Let's take a look. When leaving the inn in Cam, you can speak to the entire team. Pick the following options for maximum increase in your relationship status. There are four conversations here in this area in total, including Tifa, Barrett, Aerith, and Red. Next in chapter 4 at the inn in under Junon, speak to all the team and pick the following options, starting with Aerith, as that is part of the story. Next in chapter 4 there is a unique event, you can increase your relationship with both Tifa and Aerith if you get over 100,000 score in the Junon Parade. In order to do this you will have to find all 10 of the soldiers to participate in the parade and also get a very high score. In chapter 5, win the Shinra 8 Queen's Blood tournament to get a relationship increase with Red. In chapter 6, there is a lot happening. First, as Cloud, talk to Yuffie and pick the following answer.
When controlling Tifa and Aerith, make sure you pick the beach outfit that best matches Cloud's outfit. So for Cloud, pick Wild Surf, and then for Aerith, pick Pink Mermaid, and then for Tifa, pick Shining Spirit. It will show you in blue that your relationship has increased if you do it right. On the beach in Chapter 6, you must choose a side when you are attacked. Pick the side who has whatever character you want to date at the Golden Saucer, but you can't choose everyone. After the beach fight, in Chapter 6, talk with all of your companions before leaving the beach and choose the following options. In Chapter 7, you have the option to switch to the tracks of the minecart escape, and if you do, you will increase Yuffie's relationship. However, if you decide to leave the tracks alone, you will increase Barrett's instead, but you can't increase both. In Chapter 8, you increase Red's relationship by defeating the third brawler tutorial at the start of the Gold Saucer. At the end of chapter 8, destroy all the enemies when you're in the red buggy at the end to increase Barrett's relationship. In chapter 9, when in the village of Gungaga, talk to all of the team and answer the following. In chapter 10, at the River of Light ceremony, talk to the entire team and then talk with Aerith last. Yeah. 
me, mom and dad. I told him we could do that again. Uh, never mind. Just forget I said anything. I'll live in here. Whenever I think about my mom, I get... Some curious minds are liable to do this. Did Ray send his own crew against those fellows? He didn't do it. Can't help it if they suck at this thing. I got what you were saying. From his guy, he returned to the prom. Well, has literally got to be the dumbest thing I have ever heard. Aren't you, guy? That's that. Pretty much. In Chapter 11, talk with your team in Nibelheim. In chapter 12, speak with Yuffie in the Wonderment Square area, and then you can beat her at 3D Brawler to increase your relationship. In chapter 12, you can defeat Red again at Queen's Blood in the Gold Saucer, and that will increase your relationship further. And so guys, that is every option where you can increase your relationship with all the players in the game, and you should now have maximum relationship with every character, and you're free to choose whoever you want to go on a date with at the Gold Saucer. Guys, like and subscribe for more guides, and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye.